Look at the state of this. I had no idea there's this much damage that had gone on and I get here in Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Anyway, welcome along. But look at this. I mean, we had some gales, what, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And I have not been up here since. And um, this is what I found. I mean, it's... I don't like looking at this, actually. It's quite... Not sad, but you know what I mean. These aren't young trees. They've been here a long, long time. And look at the size of the roots in them. And they're just calmed down by the wind. It must have been battering through here. That's all I can say. But it's quite fascinating looking at the roots and that, look. And there is quite a few of these I was driving in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all these trees that are down. And I'm going to walk you around this area. It's a really nice area. There's actually like a big stone there, look. It's brought up a stone with it, that one. Don't even really tell on camera how tall they are. They're towering really high, the roots. I'm going to walk up all the way around and I'll give you a little uh, look around. This is quite high up, so we get some nice views of the houses around here in the area. But look at all of them laid down. I mean, they, they don't look like they've even tried clearing them up yet. I suppose they're going to... It's on their plan. The states of Guernsey, I suppose they're going to start chopping those up. I mean, I'm tempted to come down here with my saw and get some wood for a fire. <laughs> probably illegal though I thought you probably can't take it something like that I'd imagine uh, but yeah I mean un unbelievable anyway welcome along <laughs> welcome along to Guernsey hope everyone's good and remember if you it's your first time here this channel is dedicated to everything to do with Guernsey and what it's like to live here I'll show you uh, drive alongs and walk alongs so if it's something you're interested in seeing or you're used to live here or you maybe come to live here have a look around the channel, you might find it useful. Another tree look. And as usual, if you do like this video, you can simply let me know by clicking the thumbs up button. It's always good to see. This one's another one here. Um, so these are all pine cone trees. There's loads of pine cones. Oh, look, these have been sawn off these. Someone has sawn these off. Now I wonder who's been doing that. Is it someone that needs a bit of firewood? Or was it the uh, proper clean up operation? Imagine actually being here and seeing these come down. That must have been a sight to see these things slowly tip over, take all that ground with them from the roots and crush down. What a sight. I mean, you definitely don't want to be anywhere near where it's going to fall, that's for sure. But it's a really nice place. So this is Leggett, it's called. So that's L-E-G-U-E-T. And I saw a picture... I actually posted this on my community feed, a picture of this area, I think it was the 1930s, and none of these trees were here. So, interestingly, they were all planted, I suppose. But yeah, there's nothing, it'd be weird having these trees not here. So I've just spotted a few more over here. It's a nice little area for walking the dogs and stuff, and I love it around here, I haven't been around here for a while. So, always nice to come around here. Very relaxing. There's a bird box there, look. It's quite a big bird box as well. Right, let's head on over here. Right, so there's a few more here. I think there's a few more further down as well. Um, but yeah, a bit of a breeze. Not too cold there. But I think it's about 14 degrees. Another one down. As I said before, I honestly had no idea how many trees had come down here. I hadn't seen it in the paper or anything. But, um, must have maybe missed it. But certainly uh, had some strong winds up here. Makes sense. West coast. But it's a shame. I sort of wonder how old these trees are that have come down. And that's what's the shame about it. Yeah, again, some people look like they've been sawing off bits and pieces. I'll keep your fire going for a bit. Yeah. Solid. The birds are singing really loud around here. Right, let's head on down here. I've just spotted... Oh, there's another one there, look. Oh my God, that's crashed down into like the valley bit there.
Look at that. If I was brave, I could walk along there, couldn't I? I could walk along to the end of the branch. I don't think that'd end well. <laughs> oh, that was a big one. That's like crashed down the valley, that. So, don't know if there's any more around here. Uh, let's head down. I'll go down this little bit. Have a bit of a closer inspection. Right, so I'm going to head across here. I'm going to walk down to there's there's like a path you can walk round, and I'm going to I'm going to walk round down the path and show you round there. It's, it really is nice round here. I think there's a few houses, a few nice little houses dotted round here. I'll try and show you as well. Then um, we should see the sea. So we're right by Kobo Bay here. But yeah, it's um, just a lovely little area. If you ever visit Guernsey or um, you've been around here and you've got any stories let me know in the comments below because it's sort of a unique little place in Guernsey there's not really many places like this like a forested little area um, yeah there's not really any I think it's probably the only one so I'm like there should be a little gap in the if my mind serves me correctly there's a gap I can walk down but I could fall so this might be funny uh, oh, there's a rope swing there, look. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is the bit. I love walking around here. So I'm going to walk down here slowly and uh, enjoy the peace and the scenery down here. It's very relaxing. Right, so here you could go, the path takes you either left or right. Right takes you sort of away from where I want to go, although it is a nice walk, so I'm going to go down this left bit here. How nice is that? Right, here we go, look look at the rules. get so you got to be, there's a risk of falling branches. And a few other bits and pieces, good, good to see. Right, let's crack on along this path. It's very. It's quite warm down here because there's no breeze, uh, so it's a lot warmer than it was up the top there. I'll show you over this fence in a minute. It's really nice. Uh, it's quite a big field of rabbits in it. This big log on the left, right, has been here for years, years and years. It's always there. Every time I walk past, I look at it. <laughs> How oh, nice was that? I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if the, the microphone's picking up the how loud the birds are singing, but um, trust me, it's really nice. This is always nice. Look, this little house here. So it's right on the path. Um, 
Don't know if I'd like to live around here in the wind. <laughs> Hope there's no big trees above the house. So there's another path here. If you go right down there, that takes you back to the road. And from there, you, if you turn left at the end, you can walk back down to the coast. And it brings you up by Mim's Kiosk. That down there. But um, I thought about going down there. But I'm going to continue around here. And in a minute, I'll cut in. Like, I'll cut in and I'll walk back up through the little pine forest again. Uh, that is one nice back garden. Do you see that? So in a minute, there's um, from what I remember, I think there's a bit of a clearing just on the fence to the right, and I'll show you the views you got from here. So we're quite high up here, so you can normally see a bit of Kobo Bay. I'll zoom in a bit, and there's quite a few houses beneath here, up to the right. I'm trying to think why the fence is. I think it's coming up in a minute. But once I get there, I'll stop there and give you a view. And if I just go back here, see that little bay there? Hang on, I might be able to zoom in. Uh, there you go. So that's Kobo Bay. Just there. So it might give you your bearings where we are. My house is just along there. Yeah, certainly some nice views around here. So I'm going to walk. I'm going to try and find a little clearing on the left here and walk up. So there's a few more around here. As you see there's a tree there, another one here. Quite old ones again. Same old thing, they rip up so much ground for them. And they leave like a massive like quite a big crater in the ground, don't they? Let's see a big hole down there. Have a look in. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly a big hole they leave, that's for sure.
Oh, good job I'm fit. <laughs> Walking up this hill, I'm getting tired out. I've got my coat on, I might undo it in a minute. So we're walking back up the hill. Uh, I don't know if there's any more trees down. I think actually we might be coming back to where we were. I think I've done a bit of a lap, which is perfect. But yeah, this is a great little area. There's a there's a watchtower up here as well. And I'm not going to go in the watchtower today. But um, yeah, I think we've looked at this one before. This is when we started. There's a watchtower up there. You get really nice views. It's on top of a bunker. A bit, it's a big stone and a bunker. It's like a German bunker, I think. And uh, there's railings around. You can, there's a few benches up there. You can sit up there. It's towards this way, actually. I'm not going to go all the way in there today. But it's up here. So this was all um, this the German fortifications around here. I think this is from the Second World War as well. Maybe some sort of gun there. I don't know. Looks like there might have been a gun. And imagine all under here, there's probably all sorts of tunnels and networks, I guess. So there's a watchtower. So you can go in there. You walk up the steps. And, um, yeah. Not a bad little area, though, is it? Not bad at all. Anyway, thanks for watching. Click the screen to watch the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care. See you next time.